thank you so much for being such a lovely audience. And, uh, it feels like we've been touring for a really, 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 really long time, and then, and then you get on stage and everything is all fresh and new, and every night everything is different, and we just appreciate how awesome you guys have been tonight. Last time we were here in Australia, we we wrote a book. We documented our experience in Australia, and uh, and we put the book out, and we brought it. It's for sale here tonight, and uh, it's sort of like our our ode to Australia. We really do love it here so much, and and so we we decided to write a book about it, and it's just like a document of our experience here. But you have an amazing country, and you should be so proud of yourself. You're such a friendly, amazing people. Plus you have koalas, so. <laughs> and didgeridoos, and didgeridoos. You have a lot of really amazing shit that is nowhere else. It's pretty awesome, so. Anyway, I want to dedicate. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, Sarah has something to say. You also have that really, you have that really funny thing, um, that the Aussie rules thing. <laughs> I know you're all thinking, there's nothing funny about it, but, um, I think that it's adorable, and if I, if I lived here, I would probably, I think there's, somebody in Brisbane was trying to explain to me that it's not just, there's like Aussie rules, and then there's like a more man's league where, I don't know, I can't follow it. You guys are so cute. It's like, you, it, it's like in, when we're in Canada, um, we mostly just watch um, hockey, but as far as I can tell, it's like you guys have hockey, but you have like four different versions of hockey, and some are more like wussy, and like the guys are like more cute, and they have like tattoos on their arms, and then some of them are really like manly, like sort of like if I had to, if I had to be with a man, like I would probably want the most manly man because I figure if I was forced to be with a man at that point, I might as well just be with the most manly man, like as a way to be like, well, I have to be with him, but look at how manly he is. And anyway, so I just wanted to say that um, that I'm really into your sport. Is all that's all. And, and I don't, I don't totally understand it, but I think it's adorable. And I think, I think that next time I come here, um, we'll just spread the rumor that um, maybe, maybe one of the one of the players from any one of the leagues, maybe if they just invite me and Tegan to come to a game, we'll go to a game because um, I feel like I feel like we'll probably need pr protection at the game just because it seems like I was watching a show the other, or not a show, a game the other night, and the audience looks unhinged, like the crowd. So we'll probably need some kind of security because Tegan and I are about, we look big on stage, but we're about three foot one. So we're just tiny little elvish people. So I, if you could spread the word to the AH, AHL that Tegan and Sarah want to come to a game, but we'll probably need some kind of, um, we'll probably, what's the AHL? AHL? The, the Aussie, oh, ALH? Aussie, <laughs> Aussie ARL? Aussies and koalas and a, and a rugby? Shit's, shit's getting crazy, let's, it's true. But anyways, um, I just wanted to say that, um, I just wanted to spread that rumor that Tegan and I are really into Aussie rules and, and Australia literally rules. So thank you so much. Yeah. 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 I'm regret saying this, this thing that I'm saying. Is it better than keeping my mouth shut? That goes without saying. Yeah. 
I'll make myself feel bad, there's a chance I'll solve